right, today's Sunday, August 14th, 2022. We're out here getting it in on a Sunday. Uh, so this is the hood for Billie Jean, black 64 convertible that left here, oh, about a year ago or so. Uh, he's finally getting around to needing a hood, so we ordered a hood. This is a reproduction hood. Came from overseas, I'm sure. They've gotten so cheap, they don't even box the whole thing. They just box the top side. But uh, it's okay. It, it showed up not damaged. So what we did earlier was we got all the e-coat off the top side. Top side only. I don't really see a need to take it off the bottom. Uh, it was pretty, pretty thick on there. It took some effort. We used an electric uh, sander with 80 grit and then uh, followed up with the DA 80 grit. Uh, took an hour, two people, and then washed it with soap and water twice, Dawn dish soap with a red uh, Scotch-Brite, and then two rounds of the water-based, or yeah, waterborne, water-based uh, wax and grease remover. Soaked it down till it's basically dripping on the floor. Did that twice, so it's been sitting. Uh, we're gonna wait about another 15 minutes. It's been sitting for about 30 minutes. Let it evaporate off real good. Got 16 ounces of gray SPI epoxy mixed up. Should be enough for two coats. And this thing is definitely gonna need some body work. So I wanted to do kind of a little episode, a little segment here of the reproduct the quality of the reproductions, which many know, you know, they're not like original, but they are rust free. So definitely has some some dips and some waves. Um, but it should fit pretty good. The dimensions are, are spot on, but it's just the quality of the putting it together process that lacks some quality control. So this thing is going to get the full treatment. It's going to get the SPI epoxy. Uh, you know, it's going to need some filler work. And then I, I don't think it's going to need polyester primer, but maybe. And then uh, 2K and block it down and all that stuff. And then black base coat and Euro clear to match the car. So bring you guys back once we get some epoxy on it. All right, so here we are, two coats SPI epoxy later. Uh, sprayed it about 25 PSI, 16 ounces was enough for two coats. Worked out pretty good. So now this thing is sealed from any elements. We got a good foundation on it. So now we can go on with the next step. Uh, kind of hard to tell what we got till we lay it flat. So bring you guys back here couple days I'm, I am gonna smear some filler tomorrow uh, and we'll continue the process thanks for watching all right here we are it's Monday August 22nd 2022 it's 90 degrees already it's nine o'clock in the morning 77% humidity so today's little project is I'm gonna put some work in on this uh, on this hood for Billie Jean so where we left off, we got it in bare metal and in two coats of epoxy. So this is a reproduction hood. Um, this is going to be the third one that I've worked on, third reproduction 64 hood. I already know kind of what to expect. It's going to need filler. Pretty much all right there, both sides. For some reason, when they stamp them, uh, they, I don't know. But at first glance, it looks great. At first glance, it looks great, ready, ready to paint, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is block this thing down with 180, uh, the epoxy sandable. It's been a little over a week. Block it down with 180 on the acrylic block and see what we got. So let me get my little tripod set up, and I'm going to do a little time lapse.
here we go seven minutes later and this hood has a little bit of everything going on so like I say lows this whole section right there is low this one same not as bad bare metal highs bare metal highs oil canning these things are really garbage uh, I mean basically what you're buying when you buy one of these things is uh, let me turn the fan off here basically what you're buying when you buy one of these reproduction hoods is you're buying a rust free panel that's it that's all you're getting I believe they're like four hundred and fifty dollars now, maybe five hundred. Uh, they used to be four hundred. They used to be three fifty. Uh, so man, a lot of work ahead on this thing. But I'm gonna smear some filler on it today and keep blocking. That's today's goal. Uh, it's probably gonna need some polyester primer. We'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see what happens. But just want to give a video out here to everybody who's working on these cars and they're buying these repop panels. I mean. I don't know what a stock or an OEM 64 hood costs. My guess probably 500 for a rust-free one. To me, I think it's worth it because if you do this yourself, you're going to have 20 hours in body work alone to get it right. So that's the plan for today. So let me get working and I'll bring you guys back. All right, here we are about four hours later. It's almost one o'clock and I got... I think the majority, if not all, the filler work done, like I say, mainly in the back is where these hoods need them. A couple little dingers, a couple little high spots I tap down, but mainly on these corners. I don't know why, but that's just the way they are. Really nothing on the front. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, is uh, polyester primer. Super build, 4 to 1. Probably go, I don't know. At least two, maybe three on the on the corners here, and then after that, block it again down with 80. I end up blocking the entire thing with 80 grit. The 180 really wasn't cutting it good, so the 80 did much better. So let me mix up the uh, super build and get to spraying. All right, here we are. It ain't a whole lot to look at, but I got it in three coats of the trouble areas and two on the rest kind of stayed away from the front and the middle there's no need to put it there we kind of just put it where it needed it end up being 24 ounces which was all that was left in the gallon so the next step on this is to guide coat it down and block it with 80 work the process from there so that was four hours in this hood today uh, so we're in it for uh, six and a six and a half total so far so bring you guys back once we get it uh ready for the 80 grit uh sanding stay tuned all right today's saturday october 1st 2022 and we're going to be working on this hood for uh for billy jean 64 so where we left off it's been a few weeks but it's been in this poly polyester primer and we guide coated it we're about to block it with 80 grit and then 180 and then uh we got a quart of primer we're going to be spraying on it probably get three coats out of that 2k primer and then it should be ready for 400 in color so i'm gonna put about two hours of work in it today and hopefully get this thing out of here by in no later than two weeks so i'll bring you guys back all right, so we got this thing in uh, 180 grit, and then we did have a little bit of breakthrough bare metal on the on the edges from blocking, and uh, so you don't want to put 2K primer over bare metal. So all we did was just mixed up about two ounces of epoxy, and we just spotted in, spotted in over the bare metal. So we're gonna let this flash off for I don't know, maybe an hour. It's only 84 degrees today. That's great. Once that flashes, we're going to be spraying this 2K uh, regular build primer. It's not high build. We've got a quart. We're probably going to mix, I don't, we'll probably spray the whole quart. 
I don't have any use for that primer after this job. We also got the little under dash little piece here for under the steering column. And then we do have a, a valance across the front that's reproduction. I don't think there's a need for 2K primer on that. So we're just gonna scuff that and go straight to sealer. So I'll bring you guys back once we get this thing coated. So here we are, three coats later of the SPI 2K regular build primer. Uh, last coat we threw about 10-15% reducer in it just to kind of flow it out a little better. Make it easier to sand. So next up on this hood is going to be 400 grit wet. And uh, uh, it's ready for base coat, ready, ready for sealer. We've got some black epoxy going to use a sealer. Uh, hadn't really done much to the underside. So the underside is just going to be... Uh, uh, sanded 400 and, and sealer. There's no need for primer on the e coat stuff. So by comparison, I would say that 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 SPI 2K regular build primer is is almost a high build. I, I would say it sprays much like this U pole stuff that I have that I've been using on random stuff that got that on Amazon actually almost doubled in price in the past year. But I would say by comparison, it's about the same uh, thickness and the SPI is considered regular build. So anyways, so I guess we'll bring you guys back once the process continues. All right, today's Saturday, October 15th, 2022. It's about seven in the morning. It is a mild 70 degrees this morning, 83% humidity, sun's starting to come up. Uh, we got this reproduction 64 hood ready to spray today. Yesterday it was 400 top and bottom, wet, and then soap and water wash. And then <clears throat> brought it in here, hung it up, let it dry overnight. I just hit it with some solvent based wax and grease remover. I found some some leftover black epoxy in this box here. I'm gonna be sealing it in black, three coats of black base, three coats of Euro clear. Also have this front valance. It's in the E coat. All we did was uh, wash that in red pad with soap and water, wax and grease remover, same process. Uh, you really don't see any of that. I think you might see a little bit of this through the grill maybe or under the grill between the grill and the bumper and that's pretty much it i mean you, you see a little bit through of the top through the grill but overall you really don't see that piece we also have this little steering wheel steering column cap that goes on the bottom of the steering column on a 64. underside of the hood was just uh we didn't spray any primer on that it just has the e-coat simply because it's the underside of the hood Luckily, I was able to find some black epoxy. I, all I had thought I had was gray. So I was like, man, we're going to seal it in gray and then cover it in black. But luckily, I found some black. Probably just going to mix up about maybe eight ounces total and go from there. So there's a lot of stuff floating in the air. Uh, man, there's a lot of cotton, cotton in the air everywhere. So it's going to be a little difficult here. I'm trying to get this done before the wind starts blowing today. Probably going to have to wet the floor. But we're going to try and work through it. Hopefully nothing lands. So, bring you guys back once I get this thing sealed. <laughs> little tech tip for all you backyard garage painters like myself. Uh, spraying the panel vertical versus horizontal. Horizontal, I mean on a stand. Uh, you spray it vertical, you get a lot less trash. Obviously, mainly because 
you have this much of surface for stuff to land versus five square feet of stuff to land. So spray it vertical, you get less trash. Also tie it to the rack with some wire and it won't move on you whenever you go to spray it clear. Tech tip for the day, stay tuned. All right, so here we are, sealed up. I end up mixing up 10 ounces. That's eight ounces of, or four ounces of epoxy, four ounces of activator, two ounces of reducer. So that's 20% reduced. I sprayed it with the orange cap uh, 1.3, which it takes some getting used to for me because that's not usual, that's not my usual epoxy gun. So I have to move a little bit slower. So really, really light coat, super light. But all we're looking for is basically some adhesion promotion on the backside as well. Our little valance here. So we're gonna let this sit about 30 minutes, 7.30 right now, so we're right on time. I wanted to be spraying base coat at eight o'clock. So we'll let this sit for about 30 minutes, come back, hit it with some pre-mixed black. I have a little bit in this jar. I also have a new quart that the owner bought. So we have plenty of, plenty of color. So bring you guys back once we get the base coat sprayed. All right, so here we are, three coats of a euro later. Overall, pretty good, no runs. We were able to not get any trash hanging it this way. Uh, spray this balance piece, did get some dirt nibs on top of that, but like I say, none, none of that gets really seen. Went ahead and cleared the backside also. Three coats on this, three coats front and back. <clears throat> euro, we mixed it four to one to one. Last coat, we did mix it about four to one to one and a half. Actually, Mr. Red Rock is the one that sprayed this. Did a good job. Yeah, boy. Starting to warm up now. The wind's starting to kick up. Luckily, this is done. Now 90 degrees in here. So we're just gonna let this sit in here a few hours till it cures. Maybe get it out in the sun a little bit. But we are gonna cut and buff this. That was part of the part of the agreement. So I'm thinking just 1500 will get it done in about a week or so. So this thing will be ready for pickup here in a, about a week or so. So bring you guys back once we do that process. All right, today's Saturday, October 22nd, 2022, and we're going to be wet sanding this hood. It's a Repop 64 hood. So it's been sitting for a week, and it's really not... Not bad, really. I don't think it has anything on it. Huh? Oh, a little bit right there. It's a tiny little. I don't know if the camera's even going to pick this up. Yeah. So it's got three coats of Euro. I, I think we just go 1500 now. <laughs> yeah, 15, 2, 3, and then the ACA. So it probably won't look any different on camera, honestly. But... And West Sand Buffett should be getting picked up today. That's that's the compound. That's not the polish, huh? Huh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scan the barcode. So this is everything's three this size three thousand. So all this left is uh about another I can't keep this thing clean. I know. Yeah man, that thing is not is 
dusty instantly out here. All right, so here we are. The 64 hood is, uh, we wet sand and polished it yesterday. So there's a final result. Just to recap on the process of this, it was a reproduction 64 hood. I took the top side down to bare metal, cleaned it with uh, the waterborne wax and grease remover from SPI. We got two coats of epoxy on it. Did some filler work, mainly around the hinge area. Uh, some poly primer, uh, sanded that down. Some regular build 2K primer after that, sanded that with 400. And then we sealed it in black epoxy, reduced 20%, I believe. And then three coats of SPI black base coat, three coats of the Euro Clear. We wet sanded with 1500, 2000, 3000. Then we used ACA, or 3D ACA 500 cut, uh, compound with a white foam pad and then the 520 polish on a blue 3M foam pad that's used for that ultra fine swore remover. Two step buffing process. Yeah, it's impossible to keep this thing dust free out here where I live, so there's dust on it, but it's a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the process. Uh, like I say, you buy the reproduction parts you can still expect to do some body work on. It's not scuff and spray. So you guys stay tuned for more work. Thanks for watching.